Hi everyone. Uh, one more non-parametric test, one more non-parametric technique, and that is runs test, right? Uh, test of randomness for dichotomous variable, exactly two possible outcomes. Basically, runs test we can apply we, we, if we want to know randomness of the data, whether data is collected randomly or it is biased. So we would apply runs test. And I'm sure ideally everybody should apply. I mean, if your data is uh, non-parametric, you should apply runs test. You should first check whether your data is randomly collected or there is the, some biasness. But only restriction is that is applicable only on the dichotomous variable. Dichotomous variable means whether we, you had collected data yes or no, or you had given coding uh, male for one, I mean male, uh, this is the one coding and female two coding or zero to zero to one so this one is the dichotomous variable. So exactly two possible outcomes, right? The runs test used to analyze whether data are distributed randomly or not. Uh, if it is not distributed randomly, means data is biased. So run test, uh, runs test is very, very important. Our run is explained as a sequence of one occurrence preceded, preceded and followed by different occurrence. So basically, first, we should understand what do you mean by term run? Why this, this, this term is came into practice, run? Here is, I have taken one example of run. That means sequence of one occurrence preceded and followed by different occurrence. So here is, I have taken example of M stands for male and F stands for female right so there is the this one is the data had collected mm consequent uh, i mean this one is the continuously mm 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 that is one run and because it is not shifted to f right so when moment f shifted to m shifted to f to female right this is the second run so in this case there are total two runs this one is the run one right and this one is the run two ff when we come to, I have taken one more example, M, F, M, I mean male, female, male, female, male, female, right in this. So there are how many runs? We, we would count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So total runs are here is ten. One more example, right? M, M, F, M, F, M, M, F, M, triple F, right. So how many runs? So there is the continuously there is sequence is not, this is, this is the, it's not shifting from one occurrence to another occurrence. So that would be counted as one run. So this is one run, then two, then three, then four, then there is five, six, seven, and last three Fs. Eight run. So in this example, total runs are eight. So I'm sure you understand what do you mean by runs. So here is I because when you are when whenever there are matlab, I mean you have to find out this thing too many or too less runs in a sample data shows data is not collected randomly. When there are too many runs or too less runs, that means your sample data not collected randomly right one more thing when you increasing alpha five percent ten percent twenty percent in my example i have taken five percent five at the five percent significance level so alpha is five percent when you are if i'm giving just generalized example five percent to twenty percent and if the then then what would happen if you are increasing alpha tendency to make type one arrow type one error increases I had already discussed type 1 error and type 2 error in my previous videos. So type 1 error, we are increasing. If we are increasing this alpha, right? Here is, I have taken example of total number of uh, sample is 60. 60. And here is, you can see here, 1, 2, 1, 2, I mean 2, 1. That means it shows. One means male and two means female. Now I am sharing and what hypothesis we would like to prove in this case because this is the uh, testing of hypothesis test, runs test. Null hypothesis says males and females data collected randomly. Means whatever this data you had collected. So in this data, male and female, right, 
uh, data, I mean, uh, we had collected this data from male and female, that data is collected randomly. But alternate hypothesis says males and females data not collected randomly. Now we will come to the R species file. You would see here. SPSS file variables view. Here is again the same file I had used in the previous video also. Serial number, right? That is the respondent ID. Gender, numeric, gender. I have defined here, you would see here, variable values. One for male and two for female, right? And uh, this is the ordinal data. Correct. This gender one, again, because I would like to distinguish between two cases right in this runs um, test so i'm not touching this gender one file right i had defined here but we will take at a time one only one variable during our analysis so this is our gender right one two two one total number of respondents you could see here total number are 60 60 data i had collected gender one we are not taking right now consideration i will tell you later why I have taken gender one also? Because comparative study, you could see, analyze. We will go to non-parametric test. And here is legacy dialogues, right? Again, non-parametric test, legacy dialogues. Legacy dialogues, you could see third one, runs. Binomial, we had already done in the previous video. Chi-square, we had already finished. One sample case, we had already finished in our previous videos. Two independent sample we had already finished. K independent sample we have finished. Two related sample also we had finished and K related samples also we had finished. So today only uh, this one is the runs test is left out. So I would like to show you how you have to uh, analyze this runs test, <coughs> runs test, right? So we are not considering this gender modified, right? We will take it later on. First, we are going for this gender. That one is our, the first one. This one is the second one row. So gender, right? <clears throat> we want median, mode, mean, and custom also. Custom is because gender, we have taken either one or two. So one or two means here is the mean values. 1.5, right? This is the mean value is 1.5. Option is descriptive. Obviously, I want all the descriptives, right? Then I would press OK. Now you could see here, this is the descriptors. Gender, total sample size means 60. What is the total sample size is 60, right? Total sample size 60. Mean is 1.52, right, of this sample. So under deviation, 5.504, minimum value is 1, maximum value is 2. Because we had given male, we have 1 there and female 2. Then we come go to the runs test is the that you could see here. I had selected four options. So A median, A mean. Here is, I mean, this one is the through median. This is through mean mode. And last one is the customized where we have defined values, test values 1.50. In all the cases, they can results all the, in all four cases, results are same. Right. So, Test value 2 cases, test value 29 cases are less than test value and uh, 31 cases are greater than or equal to test value. So total cases are 60, right? And there's the number of runs are 47 in this case, Z value 4.1. And this one is the 0 0.000 significance level. What it shows, what it shows. I will put here this, these results here, right? Copy kar lete hum yaha par. What it shows? It shows, it shows this is significant, right? So that means our null hypothesis is rejecting and alternate hypothesis is accepting. That means this data not collected randomly. If this data is not collected randomly, that means there's the biasness. So this one is the my interpretation for this result. We could see here null hypothesis rejected. And we will say only second interpretation is that means alternate hypothesis alternate is accepted. Right? Is accepted. 
Now, one more, again, we will run this test, analyze, right. Now we will take in, into consideration gender one. Gender one, second column, we will ignore only third column, we will take into consideration. Again, we will go to analyze. Here is non-parametric test, again, legacy dialogues, then runs. Reset kar dete hain again, right. So now the gender modified. That means we are talking about third column, right? Again, mean, mode, mean, mode, median, customs, again is same, 1.5. And uh, options, may we will click on this descriptives. We require descriptives also, continue, okay. Now these are the my results. In the second case, gender modified, 60, right? 1.4, it is mean, 1.50 for deviation, minimum maximum values, right? Runs test, you could see here. And now you could see here, right? This one, these are the values. These are the values. We will copy these values from here to our Word document. Test two. Runs test two. Here is you could see here in the previous case, first case 0 0.000, but here is not 0 0.000. Significance is 0 0.78. That means it is greater than 0 0.05. It means it means interpretation of this null hypothesis is accepted and alternate hypothesis is alternate alternate hypothesis is rejected. Alternate hypothesis is rejected. Got it? Alternate hypothesis is rejected. Why? Because this one is the value 0.788. Right? It's greater than 0 0.05. Our null hypothesis is males and females data collected randomly. That means we can say in second case, in second case, where is we have taken gender modified. In this case, we have collected data randomly. That means this data is not biased. That is more reliable data. But in the first case, where is the, we are accepting our, uh, this one is the alternate hypothesis is, is, is uh, accepted. Where is, that means in this case, data is not collected randomly. That means data is biased. In this case, first case. Because significance value is 0. .000. Right, so I'm sure this uh, runs test is clear to you and it's very, very important test to check randomness of the data. Whether we had collected data randomly or is data is biased and whenever is the any non-parametric or we can say non-metric data has come to you. So first you have to check, first you should apply runs test, right? If uh, you would like to know whether this data is collected randomly or not collected randomly. I hope this video is helpful to you and definitely we are meeting in the next video some important test. Thank you.